Nathan, another question that I know a lot of people ask when we travel, uh, and it's around the subject of healing. Why do you think God uses you in healing? I know a lot of people ask that question. What would you say if I asked you that question? I would say that God uses everybody in healing uh, because it is the promise of the Word of God. Amen. You know, the Bible says, He who believes, he shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be made well. They shall be made whole. Mm. Jesus in his ministry brought salvation and healing together. Yes. He said to the paralyzed man, which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven or rise up and walk. He brought healing mm. and salvation in one. Amen. So when you proclaim the gospel, you can't preach a lopsided message that Jesus both forgives and heals. By his stripes, we are healed. The gospel is a full gospel. It's mm -hmm. not just, so when you proclaim the gospel, when you preach the gospel, miracles are gonna happen because that is the inheritance. The Bible says we are heirs of salvation. When you accept Jesus Christ, he is the healer, so yes. miracles happen. Mm. And when I preach the gospel, I expect the fullness of the gospel to be made manifest. That through healing, people are pointed to Jesus Christ. People mm. are directed to the Son of God mm. because He bore our sicknesses. He bore our sin. So when I proclaim the gospel, I expect miracles to happen. So mm -hmm. I would not say that God particularly uses me in healing. I would say the gospel, as the Word of God declares, is the power of Amen. God unto salvation. I wish I had time to go into that word salvation, but study it. It's the word sozo, and it is used for the word healing and for forgiveness and Amen. for deliverance. That's right. When you say I'm saved, you are proclaiming the fullness of yes. the work of the cross. That's right. When you preach the gospel, miracles will happen. Amen.